Greetings, this is Brandon with Primarily Pens. Today I have three Michelle Prashan Fleur de Lis fountain pens. Michelle Prashan is no longer creating pens, but when they were active, they specialized in enamel pens. This gives me a great opportunity to talk about enamel since the Fleur de Lis uses both types of enamel, the hot or sometimes known as the hard or vitreous enamel, and the cold, sometimes known as the bonded or resin enamel. Uh, this yellow and the blue are of the hot enamel style, and this is, I think, is the first pen that Michelle Prashan made in the hot enamel. Uh, previously, they had used the cold enamel process, but I think this is the first of that. And, and these are both a series of 250 pens. Later, Michelle Prashan released the Shaw Green pen in a series of 88, and this is actually of the other uh, cold enamel style. Before I, I actually start talking about differences in enamel, we'll just do a quick walkthrough, and I'll use this uh, yellow one as the example. First of all, you see is at the very top you have a nice uh, Michelle Prashan logo, uh, a very nice, uh, lovely uh, crown pattern, and getting high detail there I think is, is quite nice. I really like that a lot. Uh, the clip is, is, is a fairly standard clip. Um, a number of Michelle Prashan pens use the same clip design on there. But the standout feature, of course, is the enamel. Um, and you have this wonderful color, a great galosh pattern, um, and, and the, the fleur-de-lis pattern you see the repeated uh, on the pen, which, of course, is why the pen is called the fleur-de-lis. Uh, the, you have the Michelle Prashan name on the band, you have the uh, silver hallmarks, and the pen number. This happens to be a number 29 of 250. Uh, the rest of the barrel has more of the wonderful enamel and the pattern you see. The very bottom of the pen actually has a different pattern. It has a nice little flower design there. I think it is quite, quite lovely. Uh, opening up the pen, uh, you have a, a nice two-tone 18 karat gold nib, again with the Michelle Prashan logo on there. The grip is nicely etched and it has a nice pattern there. This is, of course, you can see that that's the same pattern as the bottom of the pen. Again, that's a nice touch. Now this is a cartridge converted filled pen. Uh, being that they're you know sterling silver, they're quite hefty. Uh, both the, the blue and the yellow come in at 80 grams. Uh, this later model in the Shaw Green actually uh, is a little bit lighter. This is actually 68 grams. Why it's, it's lighter, I don't know. I guess they decided to use less metal in, in this later version. At this point, go ahead and take a look at the uh, differences in enamel. Um, so what we have here is um, this is the hot enamel. Um, and it gets its name because it, it's fired at temperatures, uh, you know, thousand degrees Fahrenheit or hotter, and basically forms a glass. This, this enamel is effectively glass. And so the process goes is you, you apply a thin layer of the enamel material, fire it, then file it down, apply another layer of the enamel, fire it, file it down, and so on and so forth. And you build up layer upon layer to get this wonderful, beautiful effect. For the cold enamel, uh, it's, yeah, there's, I think there's two primary processes for that one. One is basically uh, applying and, and individually kind of hand painting the enamel onto the surface. Uh, there is a famous uh, enameler by the name of Robert Glover that uh, did work for Conway Stewart and I think Rick Well. He used the goose quill, you know, to actually apply the, the layers of, of the enamel. Another process, I think that that's using this this for this pen is basically taking a clear coat, kind of spray painting a clear coat of the enamel around it, then applying another layer of, of with the of the colored enamel, and then applying a, a few more layers of the uh, of the clear coat enamel. Both versions, of course, you know, have you know again very highly polished, again just just gorgeous. I I, I really enjoy enamel. Um, now, there are differences in how they feel, however, also because they are different materials. If you're to first pick up a uh, hot enamel pen, you'll notice that it actually feels very cool to the touch, especially compared in, in relative to the, the cold enamel. That's because the, the glass actually has a higher thermal conductivity, and so it just feels cooler to the touch than the, than the resin material. Um, there, there's also, if you, if you look under this with a microscope or a loop, you'll also see some differences in the enamel itself. You can see it. You know, I'll try to put some pictures together to kind of kind of illustrate that. Uh, but the hot enamel, you'll find these little bitty, it's not too many, but a few little, little bubbles in the material. Um, whereas the cold enamel is going to be a much clearer enamel. Now, what I think that's happening is, is when the light hits those little bubbles, though, they actually diffuse the light a little better. And so I think that the the hot enamel 
uh, versions actually kind of glow a little bit more and show the light a little better. But again, that might be a personal perception of that. The hot enamel is a harder material. It is actually, this glass is actually very, very hard. And so uh, the silver will get scratched before the enamel does. Cold enamel is not quite as, as hard. And so it does, it can get scratched a little bit easier than, than the, or quite a bit easier than the, the hot enamel. Uh, but, it's, but it's still a pretty, pretty durable durable material. Now, because uh, this is actually glass, you know, if you were to drop this or to, to strike it hard on, on a table or something like that, you know, you have, you do risk, you know, getting a chip um, out, you know, it, it could chip a little bit. Um, but, you know, I don't, I tend not to slam my pens in on the table, so it's not really a problem for me, but, but it is something to be aware of. Uh, the, the, obviously the coal enamel doesn't, doesn't chip like that because it's, it's a softer material. Um, but again, both are, are quite, quite durable overall. Another kind of difference between the two is actually uh, for the, the cold enamel, um, I was, I was uh, shown another Michelle Prashan pen um, by a dealer at, at a, a pen show, and it was the Monogram. And I'll do a, a review of the Monogram. It's a very lovely pen. Um, but it also is of the cold enamel style. And uh, he had had this pen in, a, in his shop window for probably a decade um, in, in the light. And it had faded substantially. So it was originally a, a kind of a dark blue uh, color and it faded to a, a almost a light purple, almost a lavender type thing. It's actually quite lovely, uh, but of course it wasn't evenly shaded kind of or, or faded. But that is that is you know one of the things about the cold enamel is it's not as color fast. The, this hot enamel it's going to look the same a hundred years from now. This this, this color is not going to change at all with time. Um, now again it's not really an issue because you know it's not like that you're going to keep your pens out on the direct sunlight for you know. 24-7 for, you know, 10 years, um, but th there is just a difference in the material because of that. Another difference, you know, actually, you know, there, there are a number of, of companies that use this cold enamel process. I think Mont Blanc has a few, and if you see a, a it's probably going to be a, the cold enamel. Um, I think Waldman and a few others, you know, if you, if you see, uh, you see enamel these days, it's probably going to be the cold enamel process. The only company that I know of that does the hot enamel, uh, is David Osterson. And I think personally, I think he's taken hot enamel to a whole different level. Uh, his work is just spectacular. Um, but again, uh, they're both, both lovely type, type materials. Uh, at this point, I'll go ahead and take a quick look at the box that the pen came in. Uh, we have the Michelle Prashan logo on the top. Open that up. You have the Michelle Prashan uh, certificate. And then uh, the bottom of the outer box has cartridges and then spaces for uh, rollerball uh, refills if, if this was a rollerball. Uh, the, the box itself is a nice wooden box. Uh, open that up. Nice hands with, again, the Michelle Prashan name and logo. Again, a nice, nice box overall. Well, there you have it, the Michelle Prashan Fleur de Lis pen. Uh, two, the, the yellow and the blue in the hot enamel, and the Shaw green one in a, the cold enamel. All three, uh, very, very lovely. They, they shine in the, in the light quite, quite nicely. Uh, wonderful patterns overall, and beautiful, beautiful pens. Please leave comments below, take a look at my other reviews, and subscribe to Primarily Pens. I'll have additional reviews soon.